We are back with some Q&A with Mayor Ron Nirenberg. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. I want to start with some of these viewer questions that we've been getting into KSAT. The first one, can you talk a little bit about the retail shops? Which ones specifically? Because there are some that are allowed to be open. Yeah. Can you talk about which ones can be open and which ones are required to Yeah, close? it's a great question. And, and really, we are also guided here by CDC, um, yeah. what's considered critical infrastructure. When it relates to retail, uh, it's those um, services that are providing household staples, something that keep your family going uh, in the event of a crisis or, or you know, just to keep it going. Um, you know, the, the retail businesses that are not essential to daily life, uh, they will have to close. Again, you know, we're, we're asking for people to use a little bit of common sense, but uh, those things that we need to keep life going uh, inside the home is what we will see open. And that's where the enforcement will take place, correct? The police department will be that's These right. businesses that are considered non-essential going around and reminding them they should be closed. That's right. And, and, and again, it, most, most cases, the violations that we've seen uh, in previous orders, people are just made aware. Uh, that's why we, we let, let a little bit of a ramp time to the uh, effective uh, time of this ordinance or the effective time of this order so we can answer a lot of these questions. I, I know that throughout this entire thing in your news conference, you've talked about the balancing act, public safety versus our economy. Um, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick had some things to say on Fox News last night. Let's listen to a little bit of snippet of what the Lieutenant Governor said. Let's get back to work. Let's get back to living. Let's be smart about it. Uh, and those of us who are 70 plus, we'll, we'll take care of ourselves, but don't sacrifice the country. Your reaction to the lieutenant governor? Well, it's, it's very easy uh, for someone of power and privilege and with a government health plan to make a callous statement like that. Um, you know, but what Dan Patrick is learning now is something that most Americans have known for a very long time, which is that a single health event can turn catastrophic. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're seeing play out all over the country. In fact, with our own economy, it has become a catastrophic issue. And so what I would say is that here in San Antonio, I, as mayor, no one is disposable. We're going to make sure that no one has to be sacrificed. We're going to protect everyone's lives. Uh, and, and it's especially important for the protection of those people on the front lines, our health care workers, our hospital workers, our doctors and nurses, as well as the first responders. They are put at risk every single day this outbreak gets worse. Uh, and I have to remind folks that the, that, that the data shows that this is a very dangerous virus, especially for older Americans. And so, you know, this is a community that has a lot of retired veterans, 100,000 plus veterans in this community. They have served this country honorably. It's time we all rise up and serve them as well. All right, we're going to test a break more with Mayor Nirenberg right after this. Welcome back to the six o'clock news in our coronavirus Q&A with San Antonio Mayor Ron Nuremberg. Here's another viewer question. Is there or are there going to be any curfews set with this new declaration that takes effect at 1159? Well, it's a great question, and, and, and the way the order is, as a stay-at-home order, the whole entire day is a curfew. If you're not out for an essential purpose, um, or if you're not going to and from home, uh, buying groceries or whatever to sustain your family, you need to be at home. This is a curfew. Um, you know, of course, uh, we want people to get some fresh air, take a block, uh, take a walk around the block to get, you know, a little bit of exercise in. We encourage that. It's good for your mental state as well. Um, but you need to observe social distancing. But uh, outside of that, you need to remain in your home. Yeah. Another viewer question. Can my son's dad still pick him up and bring him home on these orders? And I think they're asking about custody arrangements. Uh, yes. What's the deal with that? Yeah. So travel uh, related to child custody is permitted. Okay. Um, and, you know, people should, you know, understand that and, and not feel the need to lock in place. For that. Right. We're sensitive to those, to those Absolutely, issues. Yes. Uh, next question. Regarding companies that are remaining open due to being an essential business, are they obligated to pay hazard pay? during a time like this? Uh, no, the, the order doesn't go into uh, those kinds of uh, employer employee contracts. Uh, but what I will tell you is that obviously the, these are trying times. So we're looking at employers to make sure they're taking care of their employees well-being in addition to understanding some of the needs they might have at home. And some companies like HEB are paying yeah. their employees more during this time. That's right. Um, you know, 
HEB is a first first responder in my book. They they have done so much to really step up in this effort. As have places like the food bank and many of the yes. restaurant tours have totally changed their entire business model to serve the public. Um, but yeah, there there there's people are having to go above and beyond to help their neighbors, and and that's what's most gratifying about being in this city is we're seeing that. Again. Yeah. yeah. This next question is about kind of the specifics of the work from home model. I'm a small business owner of a body repair shop. This person is a mechanic who sent in this question. Work still needs to be completed. Can I go to my business but not open to the public? In a auto repair, yes, which is also uh, accepted within this order. Obviously, those essentials uh, to, to uh, provide for repair uh, are allowed to continue, and so that would be permitted. Next question, like I said, a lot of these have to do with different businesses. I'm a contractor. I need to know more about the work exemptions. I need to know if I can keep working, we do home remodeling. Okay, so this is, this is a great question. We would ask the, actually ask you to call the city in this okay. case. But as it relates to the maintenance of a home, uh, those are permitted activities. And, and what we would ask you to do in that event is to make sure that you maintain, again, and, and adhere to the CDC uh, social distancing guidelines and, and maintain space. And, and that's really the key to, to get this moving. And, and, and again, maintaining your home, uh, maintaining the life in your home is all part of the exempted activities within the order. I'm going to skip ahead a few questions because we have gotten a ton of the, this particular question here at KSAT. My husband does landscaping work, goes to houses, does their yard. It's outside, no contact with the homeowner, and has one other worker with him. Can he still work? Yes, he can. So, and I would say again, stay at home, shelter in place ordinances. We've been in concert with cities around Texas. Our language is the same. And so as it relates again to maintenance of a home, uh, the upkeep of a home, that's an essential service. And so those are permitted under the order. Okay. A, a parks question now. Why can people mass congregate at city parks playing basketball? They're sweaty, bumping into each other, not staying six feet apart. They cannot. That is over as of 11.59 tonight. Uh, you know, and I heard Governor Cuomo speak about basketball under a shelter in place ordinance. Number one, you are supposed to be observing social distance. There is no gathering outside, uh, unnecessary gathering. And, and, you know, I don't know anyone who's going to be able to obey social distancing and, and be a good basketball player. So basketball pickup games are over and under this order. Great. All right. We're going to toss to break more with Mayor Ron Nirenberg coming up right after this. We are back with Mayor Ron Nirenberg, and we have time for one more viewer question before we go um, and, and wrap things up here. You know, folks are looking for a recreational outlet, something like fishing or, you know, going out and, and doing a hobby that's outdoors. W what's the answer to, yeah, to we that? Want, we obviously want people to go out and get fresh air, uh, you know, take a walk around the block, but, but unnecessary traveling outside the house is prohibited. So, you know, unless you're fishing pond is on the way around the block when you're walking, you really shouldn't be going out to do that. Uh, again, the, the order is to stay at home. Let's limit our exposure. If you need to go outside, get a little fresh air, that's good. But we don't want, we want to limit unnecessary traveling altogether. Okay. What's the one thing that you want San Antonians and Bear County residents to know? Pe really people in, throughout our viewing area to know about this whole thing. This is unprecedented, and I think if you look at what's happening around the world, and even here in the United States, uh, this is a real threat to our health and safety and the livelihoods of ourselves and our children and grandchildren. If we don't work together to get through this pandemic, uh, we will be suffering the consequences, uh, life as well as economic, because the more we can get these restrictions in compliance, uh, the faster we will get through this. When do you think this is going to be over? It's a great question. Our health authority has always been in the driver's seat. They guide our every action on this. And, and, and we've asked them that question. And the re reality is, you know, this is not going to be something that's going to be done in a week or even two weeks. What we need to see, according to health guidelines, is two weeks sustained where there's no more new cases. We are clearly not there yet. We still haven't hit our peak. We need to see that data before we're going to get out of this. Mayor Ron Nuremberg, thank you for your time. Thank you. I know it's getting serious because he told me he took the weights out and he's working out <laughs> in his garage now. So I yeah. know it, you know, he's practicing social distancing. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. We'll be right back.